when you're working with your switches and your routers, there may be times when things are not working exactly as you would like. Maybe those problems are associated with throughput. Maybe you're not able to connect to a remote site, or maybe the switch or the router is not responding at all. And there's a few different methods that are built into switches and routers that may provide you with some diagnostics. One of those methods is using your built-in diagnostics. There may be hardware tests built into your router or into your switch that will allow you to see if the hardware is performing as you would like. There are also ongoing monitoring systems built into many switches and many routers that will allow you over time to monitor temperature and CPU utilization and bandwidth and many other variables as well. Usually that's done through methods like SNMP, where you have a central station that is constantly querying that switch or constantly querying that router to determine what the latest specifications are, what the latest statistics and metrics are, so that you can see over time how a particular device might be performing performing or it might be operating. And a third method is perhaps your device has some built-in network diagnostics that would allow you to ping to a separate device over the network from the router itself or from the switch itself. So you can at least see if the router is routing packets properly or if the switch is sending the packets in the right direction and if you're getting a response from where you might be doing a trace route or doing a ping. Here's a network monitoring screen that shows a number of different metrics in a router that have been monitored over time. Here is an example of router CPU usage. So you can see over this particular time frame, how busy has this router been? You can see this one has a 8% as a maximum, maybe 10%. So not very highly utilized. The temperatures within the device, being able to pull that router via SNMP gives us quite a bit of information of what the internal sensors of the device are showing. And you can also see bandwidth that has occurred over time. You can query specific interfaces and find out just how much traffic has traversed that link since the last time we checked in. Your router or switch may also have, either from the command line or a web front end like this, a number of different diagnostics tools. And this one has some simple diagnostics tools that would allow you to send a ping out from this interface or perhaps do a trace route. That way, even if you're not able to communicate from a workstation on your network, you can at least log into the router and get a perspective of what it sees on the network. And maybe you're able to then narrow down where that problem might be occurring, all because you've got some of these built-in diagnostics to run right from your switch or right from your router.